Hi there and welcome to part 6 of the Autodesk Factory Design Suite tutorial here at Man & Machine TV. I'm James Smith, Factory Design Specialist here at Man & Machine and in today's episode I'll be covering Inventor. To sync to Inventor feature we're now back into the Inventor environment. As you can see the cable trays are now in position noting the red ones in the corner so if we just zoom in there you can see the red ones because these are one-off specials I now want to move these up slightly so if I just select one and go up to the toolbar at the top and hit reposition I'm just going to zoom in you can see here I'm putting a triad on you can go you can rotate this or you can vertically change it I'm just going to change it to 112 and if I zoom back out so we can check it's in position and confirm that You'll now notice it automatically updates the rest of them as they're all in a chain asset. Once we've done that, we can now start thinking about adding more components in. So these could be from contractors. So if I just insert a model here, let's go back and we'll pick this. But just before, I'm just going to show you some of the capabilities. So you've also got the SolidWorks input, the Katia V4, V5. Pro Engineer, um, so it's fairly extensive. I'm just going to pick the welding robot system. Let's just get a bit of picture for that. And again, I'm just going to place it in there and use it. And you can see the X, Y, and the Z, X, and the Y, Z. Confirm that. So I've now got the air conditioning part of my factory and. So it's just showing collaboration between various different companies, contractors, so you don't have to all be Autodesk related. There's also a new feature, um, the point cloud, which has just been added to Inventor. So if I just turn this on now, you can see here this is a 3 million point to point cloud. So if I just navigate around there and zoom in get a realistic view and you can actually measure various points and find out how it's going to look within the factory itself. It's a very useful tool, this is previously only available in Navisworks which we're going to go into next but it just allows you to play with the point cloud data and work with the existing building layouts a little bit before. In next week's show I'll be covering 4D review with Navisworks. If you have any questions relating to today's episode, just email factory at manamachine.co.uk and I'll do my best to answer them in the next show. To keep up to date with all the latest news, follow us on Twitter at ManaMachineUK or find us on Facebook and LinkedIn. Don't forget to register for the National Factory Design Conference where you can find out about overcoming all of the latest issues affecting the sector. The event is taking place at the National Metal Forming Centre in West Bromwich on Wednesday the 26th of September. To book your place, go to manandmachine.co.uk forward slash NFD conference. Thanks again and we look forward to seeing you next time.